Hey, what's up, guys? This is Rudy Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial. And I just recognized that Maxon released the latest release of Cinema 4D 2023.2. And with it, you will get some cool improvements to Cinema 4D. I will today just talk about the improvement for the cloth engine. Basically, now in the balloon tech, you can also put in vertex maps and control and art direct your cloth simulation even more. And you can, for example, create something like this one. Okay. I think it's a fun effect, and I want to show you how you can do it but of course you can also put some beautiful material and lighting on it and just create something awesome for your portfolio all right just one thing before we start in cinema 4d let me quickly tell you about my patreon and this will be a good place if you want to learn more cool stuff then i would suggest you to become a member of the night tier. you get over 150 tutorials and you can see that quite some people already trust me and my way of teaching all right so maybe this is something for you other than that this is me on instagram you can follow my latest artworks there and of course, if you don't want to become a Patreon, you can ring the bell on my YouTube channel, subscribe to it, write a comment and just be awesome. All right. So now let's dive into Cinema 4D and have some fun. And honestly, I want to keep this really short today. I didn't have time to dive into all the new features of the latest release, but I just want to show you how you can have fun with the cloth engine because I just love it. All right. And you can see here in the scene, this is already cached. I mean, it's still a bit slow to scrub through your seen but at least you can get some feedback here all right this is because it's already cached and when i put this one into a subdivision surface then you can see quite a lot of detail put some nice shader on it light on it and then it will look awesome but i think we want to start from scratch here so i will just delete everything that i don't need right now so let's you know what let's just kill everything here okay so i would suggest you just create a plane here let's just see maybe something like this you can always put a figure in your scene that you can see how big your simulation objects are so i think i want to create something here on this floor and then for example you could create a cylinder all right i press nb to see the lines i will make this one flatter and smaller maybe something like this then i will go into the caps give it some caps here i think this is good enough and then i will also give it some segments here for example something like this and if you want to use the cloth engine to simulate this it's always a good idea to put this element into a remesher so you don't get some pinching here so you can see without it you get this pinch here without it this looks already way more way better for our simulation you could still go inside of it and click all of the symmetries on activate them now it's even more clean all right i like it you could just decrease hmm, maybe the segments just a little bit all right it doesn't have to have a lot of segments now i'll press c to make this one editable and get it out of the hierarchy then i grab a cloner put this one into it and i want to clone into a honeycomb pattern let's just switch this one to the y-axis i think let's just put it to 50 by 50 all right now you can make it more narrow try something like 35 here all right and something like this on this axis this is looking good so far now let's just decrease Decrease it here a little bit and give it a couple more elements on this axis. All right, and this could be a good start already. So I would say now you just put a vertex map onto this one. Okay, it's looking good. And then go into your vertex map. If it didn't create a crease for you, then you could do it manually here. Set this one maybe to grow. Okay, this is looking good. And now you could put a spherical field inside of it. Now you can see wherever the spherical field is you will get some influence on the vertex map so why don't we just animate this one let's put it over here let's go to let's say 120 frames and then just move it over here let's just see what will happen all right and there you can see that we move the spherical field over our clones here and because we set this one to grow you can see from the influence field of our sphere this is growing outwards not sure if it's so visible so so let's just check this one more time. All right, and you can see it is growing over the elements here. Okay, so this is good. Now I would say we just go here and put a cloth tag on it. All right, and we want to play with the balloon. And I think this one is new in the latest release, 2023.2 of Cinema 4D. So I would say we just put this map into it. And now we can say wherever the map has an influence on our clones, you will get the balloon effect. I think we want to have a strong balloon effect. And I think I want to also 
use this vertex map here in the mix animation and when you put this one into it then wherever there is no influence from the growing field from our spherical field the elements will be frozen they will be fixed and not cloth all right so let's just see what will happen now and now you can see that we have this cloth transformation here but our elements are falling through the floor and of course this is because when you press ctrl d and go to the simulation settings then you can see we have a negative gravity in general it's even stronger but yeah i mean 100 is okay for me so i think if you want to keep some gravity then it would be a good idea to put this one beneath our cloth elements and then just right click on it and put a collider on it all right let's see this one more time Come on, Cinema, you can do it. Come on. And there you go. You get this beautiful transition here. And I think because it's fun, we could make this even stronger. Put this one to 30. And I want to just increase the bendiness and stretchiness. And now let's see this one more time. And now you can see how crazy this is. All right. So we have a really strong effect. And it's so much fun to see this in animation. So let's just quickly go over here where I did this test render already and you can see that you can have a lot of fun with this technique. Okay, so let's keep this tutorial simple. I hope that you learned something here. Just be sure that you will learn way more and better stuff on my Patreon. So it would be awesome to see you there. And other than that, let me thank you for your time. Have an awesome day. Bye everyone.